What's going on, everybody? It's High Pod King Carter here, the Superman of YouTube. I'm just here to let you guys know that the next episode into SGM Podcast is out now. What I want you guys to do is go inside the description, click any of the links to either Podomatic or iTunes, download it, listen, and leave us your thoughts, man. Um, Our phone number is inside the description as well, so don't be afraid to leave us a voicemail because most of the voicemails will be in the next episode, but this is IKC signing out. Also, this is gameplay from me playing Kill Confirm on Black Ops too i just wanted to let you guys know that i do play a couple shooters and this is a full entire gameplay but i'm out of here listen to this nice little snippet it's pretty long but i'm guaranteed to have y'all laughing uh, all right let's 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 move into the nba you know what i'm saying oh, yeah. we talk about football it's time to move into the nba first things on the list why in the hell is the white horror rocking the head man I don't know, man. I don't uh, know. I turned my TV to ESPN to finally see the Lakers play. And what is gracing the head of Dwight Howard but a fucking headband? Like, why? What he trying to do? Qu- catch sweat? Like, <laughs> I mean, like, really, dog. I think he trying to not be like Shaq too much. Like, dog, you, you don't need to get a headband. For what? The the There's nothing wrong fuck. with your hairline, dog. Why why would you fuck with that? Like the white don't even have a body though. Like what? Like what's up with it? Like that headband look crazy. It's like ridiculous, dog. <laughs> yo, listen. Oh my god. Hey, did he have one that looked like the Star Spangled Banner or some shit? <laughs> I swear to God, dog. Mind you, the headband look like Brian Brian headband. Like <laughs> it's not. It's not seven inches long but it's up on the top of his hairline like what's up with him like, that shit is like it, I, I saw that and i just had to bring that to the show to our sgm listeners man do y'all like dwight with the headband no homo though man but do y'all feel that this man should be wearing a, a headband i mean i just don't get it i don't understand why man like you're not going ball you're not having a receding headline like why in the world are you rocking a headband, Dwight Howard, dog? That is the question. That's the question of the week right there. Oh, we want to know, like, your, your head, the way he wear his headband is not even a regular way. Like, his head is so small that he has to put the headband at the bottom of the back of his hair. Like, you know what I'm saying? Make it stay on. Make it stay on. Like, he got that joint at the top of his hairline and the bottom of his neck. Like, that's not how you wear a headband. You are supposed to wear a headband around the circumference of the back of your dome. Where that, where that nugget piece at? Where that don't have that? Like, where that, you said, that's you supposed to wear your headband. Like, this new headband is crazy. Fool it right now, dog. So, I think LeBron is laughing his ass off right now when he, when he wear his headbands. He's like, yo, I don't think nobody's going to be talking about my headband for a while. <laughs> we got fight out here tripping. Like, Ain't I, no reason to talk about that nigga head, man, dog. That nigga shit look terrible, fam. Terrible. All right, well, listeners, we want you, we want to know what you think. Do you like or dislike the White Howard rocking the head, man? Leave us oh, a voice hey, out. Hey, hey, look crazy. <laughs> hey, I, I think I think your homeboy, <laughs> Mr. Future Chief Keith, he has something to say about them Lakers. So since we talking about the Lakers, we'll go ahead and listen to his voicemail right fast, man. See what he had to say about them Lake boys. Do it. All right, what up, what up, iPod King Carter? And up for discussion is a future or cheat key. And I want to talk about them Lakers, bro. Them Lakers ain't even good, bro. I murk the Lakers, bro. The Lakers firing Mike Brown ain't gonna do nothing. Cause they're still not cute. As long as they not cute. But he not said cute. In, you not talking about you know, it. The Heat gonna turn up. They ain't winning no titles, but the Heat gonna turn up. That Orlando Magic gonna turn up with Aaron to follow. What? JJ Reddick, bro. JJ Reddick MVP. But, uh, JJ Reddick MVP. They also got the New Shush. Orleans Hornets, bro. Anthony Davis MVP too, bro. Everybody MVP. Everybody and, uh, MVP. Except Kobe, Kobe stuff. <laughs> but, uh, Miami Heat's cutest team of all time. What? And I'm about to murk y'all. Uh, QJB, what up, dog? I know, I know you ain't on this podcast, but you got all the swag, bro. All right, that's nasty. Bye. <laughs> Yo, it, it is so much going on in that boy's mail, Carter. I don't, I don't know where to start, dog. Um, I, I'm gonna let you start. Where, where, <laughs> what are we talking about first on that joint? I, 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 no comment, dog. Like that, that voicemail is all over the place. He went from sports 
to cute to back to sports to everybody's an MVP and then YouTube shout outs. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like I don't, I don't know. It's, just, it's too much in that general, dog. Man, no, look. Uh, your boy, your boy is Wally, yo. Yeah. Okay, man. So we talking about MVPs, right? Yeah. If somebody put up 138 points, that make them an MVP, right? No. No? Now with, I don't know. I, have I, have I you guys heard about the homeboy that put up 138 points in the D3 league? Y'all hear about that? So, I, man, I know niggas know about that boy, Jack Taylor. Man, listen. If you got a Twitter, I know you know about Jack Taylor. Don't act like you don't know about Jack Taylor. Real don't man. don't act like y'all think Jack Taylor is legit, though, man. Because I'm sorry. I got to break the news, man. That 138 points, man, it was it was a complete sham, dog. Like, he ain't do that shit legit. He ain't do it legit. I know a lot of people are wondering, like, what are you talking about? What do you mean? He's the greatest. All right. Let, let's shut up. looking like a my player for a minute. Like, if you look at the highlights, like, yeah. it's one highlight reel on YouTube. They got the they got the gangster trap music in the background. All you see is Jack Taylor, layup three. Jack Taylor, layup three. And you'll be like, oh, shit, this nigga on his my player shit. <laughs> But uh, when we look at his stat line, let, let's just break the stat line down. Free throws, 7 of 10. That's normal, right, Carter? That's normal. Yeah, that's normal. That, that's normal. Three-point field goals, 27 and 71. See, now, now, now that's outrageous. How the fuck? Why are you shooting that many three? 71? Hey, uh, Carter, have you ever taken that many threes with your my player? Son. The, the the ones he made probably were the most I've taken. <laughs> 71, God. It ain't that much time let's, in the game. Let, let's look at these field goal numbers. 52 out of 108. Son, why are you shooting 108 times? Are you tired? I, <laughs> listen, I know for damn sure in the locker room, they probably had a casket for this man after he got done that game. <laughs> God. Hey, yo, I don't I don't think none of the three Gatorades is going to work, dog. <laughs> none of that. <laughs> no. Hey, yo, Kobe Bryant was talking about he had to have mamba blood in him, dog. I, I, don't, I don't even know if that would be accurate. Son, 108 shots, like, that's unreal. Like, hey, you've seen the My Player videos on YouTube where cats be going for 100 points, dog. I don't know what they stat lines look like, but. Nah, it, yo, to tell you the truth, yo. on 2K, you could probably go about 70 to 80%. Yeah, that 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 it's sounds cool. about right. But this dude, crazy, crazy, like crazy. Eight, right. <laughs> like he said, fuck it, I'm shooting. Fuck, get him, ball, ball, coach, ball, give me the. But he, ain't, that's the thing though. It was all built into the system. He ain't even had to ask for it. They was just giving it to him. So, so this was like like easy easy pickings. Easy pickings, man. This is like when you go out there and they like, yo, listen, yo, Carter, man, we giving the ball to you, bro. All day, every day. Uh, every time, as soon as you pop up on the court, man, the ball coming in your direction. But what you saying is, this right here was not realistic. No, it wasn't. Did, did, did those numbers sound realistic to you, dog? In any way, form, or fashion? Yeah, if you're playing my player. I, I, yo, <laughs> listen, when people start tweeting about Jack Tell, I say, damn, somebody going crazy in 2K. I know, right? <laughs> Yo, like, that's the most famous 2K player ever, dog. <laughs> oh, real rap. All right, but, but let's get, let's get to some, uh, some real right quick. Some real basketball, right? <laughs> but, yeah, let's, let's get to how he did this. Okay, let's do it. You know what I'm saying? Um, we have an article. It's going to be in the description for all the listeners, but basically it's going to give you a breakdown of how the coach runs his offense for 40 minutes straight. So, the first thing is, Every first shot is the best shot, no matter if it's from five feet or 25 feet, preferably 25 feet. And this is because they want to get as many three pointers as possible. That's why he jacked up 71 of them. Now, defensively, they say giving up an uncontested layup is better than forcing a shot clock violation, which means they rather a person go in for a layup and have three people trailing just in case that guy misses the layup so somebody can throw an outlet pass down the court. So they can score efficiently. Now, you would think, okay, so where's the defense in that? They're saying give up an uncontested layup, no problem. The thing is, they do play defenses, and this is why. They press the ball handler all game long. So whoever has the ball, 
just think about it like this you're gonna get double teamed and whoever you think you're gonna throw it to they're gonna have somebody playing that passing lane so that they can automatically run down the court for a fast break and the reason that jack taylor got 138 points is because they were feeding him the rock on fast breaks transition offense half court offense give him the ball let him score this is his day now when you think about that you're like oh no that's a great game plan that is a sham it is all all that is is they're playing in iowa mind you they're not playing in anywhere big d1 school that's gonna let that fly like nobody (laughs) would let that fly like i don't care who you are if you're playing against top-notch teams you're not gonna score 138 points it ain't happening (laughs) it ain't happening you're Like, they said that the way they run their defense, they have five alternating players being subbed out every minute because of (laughs) how much pressure they put on the team defensively and offensively. Now, check this out. If you think about it, this is a good thing to do because if you're running a five-man set, you got Jack Taylor in the game, you alternate four people in the game with him all game long, and they got pressure all game long while Jack Taylor stays at the at the half court line. And says, <laughs> just hey, waiting for the ball. <laughs> yeah, just waiting for the ball. Like, hey, I'm on a fast break. Come throw it to me. But if you play real basketball and you're subbing out guys every minute because you're constantly pressing a team and you're giving up uncontested layups, why isn't this team losing? Now, I will say this. Maybe if Jack Taylor was, you know, playing a, a humble game and stuff like that and he wasn't going for the scoring record or whatever – he may have shot in a high percentage because from the looks of it, 138 points tells me that he's an okay shooter. He can shoot. He's he's an athletic. He has agility because who can score 138 points in a game, even yeah. if they're running a sham? You know, yeah, I, he made 52 field goals, man, 27 the, of them being three. So that's, that's what I'm saying. That kind of tell you something. Half yeah. of your excuse me, like <laughs> uh, more than half of your shots came from the three point line. So. Yeah, it's crazy though, man. But you can't you can't blame it on Jack Taylor. This is all the coaches doing, man. Coach was like, "Listen, this is the way we running it, and that's the way they ran it, man." Because they have a thing about getting publicity, man. They want you to know who their college is, so they break these records every few years or whatever, man, just to gain that publicity. So if you thought Jack Taylor was a beast, nah, nah, man, he not gonna be low. He's not going to be like Jimmer Fredette, man. Jimmer Fredette was legit. The boy was doing his thing, even though, you know, not hearing much about him in the NBA. But nah, man, Jack Taylor is not going to be the next big thing, man. It was a sham.